Welcome back to Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and welcome back to me being lost in the prisons. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do, um, but anyway, let's get this exciting new episode of Kanan's Knights of Horrors going. Okay. So how much stuff do I have? I have no tinder boxes. I am so screwed. Okay, so I learned last time this is a very dangerous area. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me check storage one more time just to make sure I'm not leaving anything important behind. Let's move this. Is there anything here? Strong glass. Oh yeah, I remember. I was chased in. I was chased in here, and I was hiding. I was cowering like a little baby. Nothing there. Okay. Well, I guess I've found everything important in storage. <coughs> I've got to be careful. I've got to, like, listen for stuff. Okay, so there was this. And I think it said last time that I couldn't use this. Yeah unaffected by the event. Okay. That's a weak hammer, then. It's not Thor's hammer, that's for sure. Okay. I know I checked. Okay. What about the pock? Okay. Ah, tinderbox right in front of me. Okay. <coughs> it's always good to recheck rooms you've been into, especially after last time. Last time I was just... I've not been to the kitchen yet. Maybe I can find a snack. Or I'll be... I'll become... I'll become something snack. I have no idea where I'm going. Is there anything here? Nope. Hello. Is there anybody in there? Okay. I think I've been down there. That's not the way to the kitchen. I see a staircase. Okay, I am totally going in circles. Where is the kitchen? Did I go to the kitchen last time? I don't remember. No, it's this way. Okay. Kitchen's this way. Is 
Was I just here? This place is so confusing. I guess I'm going back down here because it keeps on pointing that the kitchen is this way. And great, I'm out of lantern oil. I cannot see. I've got six? Oh, I do. Whoops. I have found the kitchen. Thank you. Now, let me find me a snack. Some rotted apples. Some moldy bread. I see some oil. I'll take that oil. Can I cook it? Nope. It's not cooking oil. Okay. More bread. Oh, uh, here's a note. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. <coughs> he seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange Spooky. servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. That's not good. Xanadu, huh? <laughs> like the uh, movie with Olivia Newton-John. One of my favorite bands did the did part of the soundtrack for that movie. ELO, Electric Like or Orchestra. I love that band. You know, they're the ones that did. You know, don't bring me down and stuff like that. Okay, they're a great band. Surely check them out if you never have. Okay. That looks like it would smell divine. Thank you. Please, sir, I want some more. Ooh, no, I do not want some more. Never mind. Golly. Ooh. Anybody want some bacon? Bacon? A steak? Okay, I'm... I'm gonna use the glass jar. Okay, now we are getting somewhere. Okay. Whoops. <coughs> I am only guessing what I need to use that on. Is there anything else in here? Okay, I hope... I hope that, uh... I don't have to come back here, because this was a long trick. So, I'm only guessing... But I'm guessing I've got to use the acid. Oh. On the padlock doors. I've just got to find them. God, that scared me.
to Cistern. I'm guessing that's where I've got to go. Seriously? Okay. Yes. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Well, it definitely looks like a cistern. Okay. <sighs> My eyes. So you use the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal. <laughs> And when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. Oh, that's great. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Okay. Okay, that gets pretty deep, so can't do can't go that way. Okay, that looks like a okay, there's definitely a ladder. Okay, that that one's not budging. Oh, there's a lever. Well, before I use the lever, let's... Is there anything over... Yeah? No. Okay. okay. Needs to be greased. Are any of these spewing out grease? That looks like water. Water. That is grease. Will this work? Yes. Thank you. Did that do anything? I guess not. Broken pipe is blocking ladder. However, it cuts damage. Aha! Okay. Let's bring it down. Yes. Not do anything with those or anything. There's a, there's a door that way. Well, I guess I'm going in this door. Control. Okay. Repair the machine powering the eastern bridge. I'm guessing this one's broke too. No, it's not. Okay, so we've got control room, and we've got, what's this? The cistern as well. Hmm. I'm curious. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's creepy looking.
Ooh. Okay, you know what? Uh, I changed my mind. <laughs> Let's go look at the control room first. I probably have to go there anyway, but... I'd rather go to the control room and find out if there's something I need to find before just wandering around aimlessly. <coughs> Crown Sphere is expected to begin to consume the pollution button. <sighs> Oh, this don't look complicated now, does it? Oh. How did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel, but things don't always turn out the way we planned. He killed him. Guarantee you. I think I hear, I think I heard growling. No! That's death! Oh, let's, let's go look in. This is like some boiler room Freddy Krueger stuff. Okay. I can tell I'm probably post. No? Oh. Yeah. Can't interact with that. What are these? Stuck. 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 What about over here? There's another one of those. Ah, okay, these move. Okay, so... I have got to figure this out, I guess. And there's like no note or anything to help me out. Hmm. I wonder is it supposed to match how these are because they're stuck in place I'm trying to see where these pipes are supposed to go see an area of pipe missing so I guess I can try and replicate that I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do though was there not a note or anything over here Oh, 
Lollapalooza. I'm just messing around at this point. I am actually pretty lost now. What did it look like was in here? Maybe I'm supposed to go to the cistern first and find something? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this little puzzle off for right now because I have no idea. I don't know if I'm supposed to match them or uh, what. It's not really giving me any uh, hint, so. But I'm, but I'm guessing since it gives you the option to go here already, that there must be a reason for it. I just don't like sewer levels. I never have in any kind of game. I just don't enjoy them. And plus, with water, I'm worried that that water monster is uh, lurking somewhere. You're conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking room. It will that too, uh, uh, but yeah. mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mill. Exactly. Hmm. How much I want to bet I'm gonna touch this water, and that thing's gonna come for me. Okay, maybe not. Let's do some exploring. Oop, tender box. Nothing over there. Okay, I thought I heard something. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be a water monster. I can tell by the way this place is. I wonder if I can make that. Oh shit. Shit. Let's hope that doesn't happen when it matters because I will be screwed. Let's go this way for right now. Trusty rusty chain. Okay. I didn't know if I walked up on if something would happen or not, but it did. Ain't no way I'm gonna be able to throw a rock at it. Oops, didn't mean to jump. There's gotta be something around here that I can use to get rid of that chain. Let's try and do this again. There's something in here. I can hear them mumbling. Was there, wait, was there anything around here? No. I have no idea if I'm supposed to go here first, but... Okay. 
Darn it, I'm carrying too much momentum. There we go. Okay. Cool beans. What's this way? Ugh, more jumping. There's definitely a wheel over there, though. Let's see what's this way before I try and do that. I see a chest. Oh, thank you. Okay. Faint murmur echoes through the large chimney. Oh, no. Something's in there. Ugh. I can try and get over here. Oh, no. Drink sewer water. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. Magic? Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, <laughs> paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. Da Vinci. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. He sounds way too excited for what's going on. Oh no, it's there are valves in the cistern to drink water. Okay, oh, I am screwed. Now that freaking monster is here. Oh. Okay. That's the entrance, so I'm going to have to make a run for it. Okay. Okay. We're good. I'm good. I don't want to risk that until I can get the bridge down. <sighs> and I bet you anything that miss can hurt me, so... Shit. <sighs> Damn, it didn't give me a lot of time, did it? Okay. Okay. I don't have to worry about that again. Ooh, that would have been bad. things. Okay. 8th August, 1839. 
I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. Okay. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying. But Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Yes. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about all of this. Is there anything over, over here? No. Well, I'm going to turn this and it's going to get dark again. Okay. There's a fish. Oh, it's coming. Okay. Okay. So... I don't want to try and go that way, because I don't know if there's a way back up. Especially with that thing after me. I have a feeling there's no other way. Oh, come on. You can't jump up onto that. Okay. I really hope I can get under this. to say it, but I'm a little stuck. Let's head right here since there's some light. Alright, well, I'm going to end it here. So I'm going to try and figure out where I am and what to do next. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit that like button, leave me a comment, share the video around. 
This is Kanan of Kanan's Knights of Horrors. Hope you enjoyed Amnesia the Dark Descent. Nothing too spooky happened in this one, but hey, sometimes that happens. As always, take care of you take care of yourselves. We love you very much, and I will see you in the next episode. See ya.